I'm Sandra Jancord, and I was born in Natchez, Washington, and I still live there. And I've been married for 33 years, and I have three kids. I was diagnosed, actually, last year in September, triple negative breast cancer, stage 4. And we went to Swedish Hospital, and there was a doctor there that uh, looked at me, and um, he wanted me to do the full chemo, and um, I said no. It wasn't really a shock to me because, you know, I knew that something was growing and uh, I needed to find help and just was a matter of finding the right help. I was searching mostly for natural treatments or something close to that that would that would help and that would work and somebody that would take me. And then I found Dr. Chen and and he took me on and he said, we can do this, I can handle this. He was um, very positive and very kind and gentle and caring and, you know, everybody there is so nice and helpful and positive. And walking through the infusion room, it was like, you know, everybody's visiting. It was like a party in there. So um, it was a positive experience. And he, he, you know, looked at me and he said, you know, I can take care of this. And um, it was turned out to be really good <laughs> so far. After meeting him and talking to him, he knew, I could tell he knew what he was doing and he knew which type of chemo to give and how much and about the vitamin C IV, you know, and that was a really positive thing for me because I know that I already knew that vitamin C was an important thing and um, I just trusted him to know what to do with it, and he did. I started chemo, and I expected something worse, you know, to start happening, but I never got sick. I lost a little weight, which is fine. I don't want it back, and I never got sick. He was right on top of everything for me, you know, to do, and... Um, there's the naturopath if you needed help from, from him. And he recommends that you eat a, a healthy diet, you know, organic if you can, which we already eat organic, and um, stay away from certain things, which we already knew that also. And uh, I felt pretty good, you know, most of the way through, you know, other than a little weakness. I never lost my appetite. Matter of fact, I was hungrier than usual. <laughs> And uh, with the vitamin C, that helps a lot there. Right away, my tumor started shrinking within a few weeks at the other oncologist. It, you know, we sat in the waiting room, and we were seeing all these people coming and going, and they looked horrible. They didn't look happy. They looked like they were very close to death and not healthy at all. Wheelchairs just, you know, down and bad color and everything like that. And it was, uh, you know, it's just really encouraging at Dr. Chen's. And, and you make friends and you sit around with everybody and you talk and the nurses are helpful. And uh, we just love everybody there. <laughs> I, I get cards every time I'm there at his office. And I got a bunch last time and I'm already out because I tell everybody... And uh, I say, you, you gotta go, you gotta go to him because he will fix you. <laughs> I had a mastectomy in August and um, I was, you know, cancer free now. And I just had a PET scan today, so we'll find out, you know, more about that. But I feel great, you know. I'm getting my energy back and I feel really good and um, Dr. Chen's happy and I'm happy and he called me his star patient for a while. <laughs> uh, when we first went to Swedish, um, we went 
right to the emer emergency department. And there was a nurse there that uh, looked at me and kind of shook her head and, you know, and I just wish that, you know, we could go back there and uh, say, hey, uh, <laughs> look at me now. <laughs>